Hi everybody, this is Sherry from Cycling Babies. I am also on Cycling Babies on Facebook. And today I wanted to spend some time talking to you about how you can identify your Christmas cactus from your Thanksgiving cactus. And I do not have Easter cactus, so it's going to be between the Christmas cactus and the Thanksgiving cactus. So as we look at these beautiful Christmas cactuses, you can see that they're beautiful. They have these beautiful flowers right now. Uh, and basically when you go to the store and you see them already in bloom, you know that how to identify them uh, from the Christmas one. The Christmas cactus has more rounder leaves than the pointed ones of the Thanksgiving. So these are considered very pointy right here. Very pointy. And this one as well. So these would be Thanksgiving cactus. The ones that are rounder, like this one, are Christmas. Do you see the leaves? The difference between the pointiness and then the roundest. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what they are and where they come from. Uh, it's a beautiful holiday plant, and it's unsupplied. It, it blooms at Christmas and um, Thanksgiving. And a month prior to the Christmas one, you will also be able to watch the tips of the leaves beginning to grow, which is amazing. The tips grow darker as each day passes until a bud forms. And at Christmas time, it's like magic. The, the buds open up to a beautiful, beautiful flowers and uh, then they cascade off. Um, so this is what's going on with these cactus uh, Christmas and Thanksgiving ones. I have them outside here um, in my backyard here in El Segundo, California, where I have hundreds and hundreds of plants because I own a nursery. And I wanted to talk to you about how I got them to bloom. Now, the more darkness they get uh, between a certain amount of time, and temperature is when if they are pot bound which these all are um, the cooler the temperatures the more the flower will bloom from my experience okay so I basically have had these in my greenhouse um, because I put them in the greenhouse uh, that's in the I have two greenhouses one in the shade and one that is in light uh, of in the indirect Sun so that there's two temperatures that can be met and uh, these are definitely um, coming out looking amazing. Now, you can fertilize them with miracle Grow fertilizer for cactus. And that's important as well. Uh, or you're just going to leave them alone and they're going to get very light. Very light, as you can see. So, Christmas cactuses are apathetic. They're, they grow um, attached to other plants and rocks in nature and uh, so actually them growing in a pot is really kind of hard for them so to speak and so you have to check weekly the watering needs of them should not be too much because in nature they're not going to get watered that much so you have to be careful as to how much water you're truly giving them because they don't need it they really don't need it. You'll kill them more. Um, so you'll have a well-draining container and well-draining soil. And um, a combination of three parts potting soil. Um, I use uh, miracle Grow right there. And uh, basically three parts of it is um, peat moss, two parts, one pot, uh, one part potting soil. And then I, I do a little bit of perlite. Um, it's like a mixed media of three parts. And uh, and then what I've done here, thank you so much. What I've done here is I've sealed the tops off on them to keep them standing upright. Because if you don't, then they hang over. They cascade out like this one has. And that's okay, but when they are just basically starting to flower... I like to give them a little chance of standing upright 
to make their roots a little bit stronger. So I put that plastic around the, the side of it. And um, I also have all different colors. I have white, fuchsia. I have yellow. This one is definitely yellow. Pink. And uh, yeah, they're beautiful. And let me answer some more. So fertilizing them is very important to keep the plant in good condition. You should fertilize them about two to four times a year with a 20-20-20 feed and stop feeding them about a month before they're going to bloom, which definitely has been happening. A lot of bloom because of Thanksgiving and Christmas. So also you're supposed to change your watering schedule seasonally. So when it's dry outside, you water them every two to three days or cool or if they're inside, you water them every week and during the fall and winter months like right now is uh, you just let water less. So these are not going to get any water right now. Stop watering around October uh, because basically you're going to um, cause rot. Okay, so I think that that's important because they really don't need that much water, which is important for them not to have too much of. Keep them in the, the dark room during the night, during the fall months. The Christmas cactus should be placed in a spot where it receives indirect bright light during the daytime, but not total darkness, but no, but total darkness at night. So that's important as well. So. That's why they're outside here. It will be pitch black and no light will be on. And that's the way it is. Thank you so much for being in my group. If you are on Facebook, this is my YouTube channel. Please subscribe and like if you do like this video. And have a beautiful day.